Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to part two of my empties video. I hope you enjoy. If you're new here, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean so much to me. And let's get into the rest of these empties. Body care and hair care. We have so many left. I told you I was hoarding. <sighs> okay, we have two deodorants. The first is the, actually these are both the same brand so I'll mention them in the same breath. This is the Takasumi Bright Deodorants by Kai Naturals. I love these deodorants so much. I'm currently trying a new one from Salt and Stone which I'm really really liking but these are incredible. I've obviously used them up both of them so I like them enough to repurchase and I just love the smell of these. Yeah, I just really like the smell of them. They're quite herbal smelling, and I just really like these deodorants, especially if you're someone who struggles with hyperpigmentation in your underarms. These are great because they have um, niacinamide in them, which is like a brightening skincare ingredient, and it helps like brighten and even out the skin tone and this just has incredible ingredients it doesn't have any aluminum or baking soda or anything synthetic fragrance so if any of those are irritating to your underarms then these are great for that because they don't involve any of those like harsh chemicals or ingredients that could be irritating to your underarms so this is the um fragrance fragrance velvet vanilla and pear and this is the brightening one with the niacinamide and then this other one that I tried is the charcoal detox one and this is in the fragrance mandarin pomelo and this one smelled super good too. I really, really like this one. So one was for detoxing and another one was for brightening. I do prefer the brightening one because, I don't know, I just felt like my underarms really liked this. It helped with my stench on my underarms and it didn't really help with sweating or anything like that. I'm also not a very sweaty person, so I... I can't really speak to that because I'm not a sweaty person, but this did help with my stench and I really enjoyed both of these and so did my underarms. For body wash, I finished another Skin Fix Eczema Plus Foaming Oil Body Wash. I really like this body wash too. But I won't be repurchasing this anytime soon because I have other body washes that I think I might like just as much that's not as expensive. So this is super good. I definitely recommend this one because it's very gentle. It never irritates my skin. A lot of other body washes will make my body break out into hives after I get out of the shower. So I always have to lean towards gentle, like non-scented body washes. But this one was so, so good. Definitely recommend, but I personally won't be repurchasing anytime soon. But if you're thinking of purchasing a new body wash, I would recommend this one. It's really nice. Uh, let's talk about lotions. This is the La Roche-Posay Lipicare Balm Intense Repair Moisturizing Cream. This also has the stamp of approval from the National Eczema Association. I love La Roche-Posay's products. They're just super gentle and really hydrating and really good for people who are eczema prone or have dry skin or sensitized skin. I just adore the brand and that so many of their products are really useful for me. So this one, I would definitely recommend and I would repurchase. They're also quite affordable, so I love that about them too. I would keep this on my dining room table or my coffee table and would just use it throughout the day. I really, really like this. It's quite moisturizing and never irritated my skin and I love how much product you get. Another lotion is the Not Pot Oat Puff CBD Eczema Cream. I love this stuff so much. When I have really bad flare-ups on my hands, I use this because it's quite soothing to my skin. I think the CBD really helps helps just like how itchy my skin is but I have come to the realization that this is not very moisturizing I used to think this was I don't know if I can get any out of this let me see okay I think I can get a little bit out but I have really dry hands from my eczema and I was using this to soothe them but then I was also thinking it was moisturizing them but I realized that I had to keep applying this over and over again to actually get moisturized because it just wouldn't moisturize my skin so what I ended up doing was I would put this on and then I would put something like the La Roche-Posay on top to like seal in the product and then to use this for moisturization because this is a very soothing and it's really nice on the skin but it's not moisturizing in my opinion so if you are someone who has eczema and needs some relief and soothing relief I would definitely definitely recommend I am going to be repurchasing this I think I might have a backup 
I have to look but I've I think I've finished like two or three of these and I really really like it but it's not moisturizing but it's soothing so I think it's worth it so I would recommend it for the soothing aspect um, not for the moisturization aspect anyway I like this would repurchase and would recommend it also smells incredible like like vanilla ice cream or something like that. Ooh, okay, I love this product. This is the Gold Bond 2% Colloidal Oatmeal Eczema Relief Lotion. Also has the eczema stamp of approval. So many things <laughs> I use have that because I have eczema, but this is so, so good. It is extremely moisturizing. It's also soothing because it has that oatmeal in it. I just love this so much. Okay, I have two more lotions. Oh, sorry, three more lotions in here. And then we can move on to hair. So the first is the Sol de Janeiro Bum... Oh, sorry. No, this is not Bum Bum. This is the Bea Flor Elastic Cream. I love this. It smells so good. Mm! I really scraped out every last bit of this because I love it so much. It's so, so good. I mostly use this as like a body perfume because it lasts so long on my skin, like the scent, and I get so many compliments on this. Every time I wear this, I get a compliment, and like when I see people, I don't see people very often, but whenever I wore this and I saw people, I got a compliment on this, and I wouldn't be wearing any perfume, and the only product I'd be wearing is this. It is so good. This is like my summer scent. I like um, reserving this for my summertime skin because it's just so fruity and just reminds me of this summer. I love this so much. I've repurchased this like two or three times already. Um, so yeah, I love this. I would recommend because it's just, it smells so good. I actually don't find this to be the most moisturizing lotion ever, but I think it's worth it just for like the fragrance aspect of it. Yeah, I love this so much. I would recommend and I have already repurchased it, but this this is a holy grail. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter, and this is just like my all-time favorite body lotion. I always have this on hand. I always will have this on hand. This is my body lotion. I've been using this for like a decade or more now at this point, and yep, used up this big old value size. I'm even the type of person who will like scrape out every li little bit of this. I don't know if you can see, but I really tried to scrape out every last bit in there. I will like dig the tube of this into it and really try and get every last bit. So even though I have a value size and I don't need to be doing that, I do that because I grew up poor. Anyway, I love this and highly recommend, will repurchase, have already repurchased. It's so moisturizing. It makes you smell like yummy cocoa butter and yeah, what more could you ask for? And then I have the Coco Kind Sake Body Lotion. This is also very, very nice. It's fragrance free, it's moisturizing. The bottle is so pretty and like neutral and just looks pretty in your bathroom or something. I would recommend this because it's just like a basic moisturizing fragrance free body lotion that I think anyone would like. I don't think this would not be liked by anyone, but I won't be repurchasing this because I do prefer my Palmers for all over my body, but this one is really nice. I think this one would actually be really pretty just like on my coffee table, so maybe I will repurchase it for that because this looks like a lot more appealing than something like this on like a coffee table or just somewhere out in your public area in your home for people to use and also for me to use throughout the day. So actually I might repurchase this because I do really like this. It's very moisturizing and it's like not offensive because it doesn't have a fragrance. So yeah, take it back. I would recommend this and I would repurchase this. Okay, and finally we have hair and then we're done. This is such a long video. I'm so sorry. I said this in my last one too. Like I need to stop hoarding the products for so long and do these more regularly. So let's hope I do that next time as well. Okay, starting off with shampoo, I have the Velveteen Dream Soothing Shampoo from Amika. These are some of my favorite shampoos ever. They smell so good. I love the way Amika products smell. They just so, smell so like warm and cozy and they make your hair smell super good. And I really liked these for when I was in between my purple shampoo when I had blonde hair 
but now that I have color treated hair because I have my hair dyed black down like from here down I have to use like specifically shampoo for color treated hair so I won't be using or repurchasing this anytime soon I think I'll wait until I have all of my natural hair back before I purchase like non color treated specific shampoo and conditioner but this was my favorite when I had blonde hair and I was in between my purple shampoo washes it just like really makes my hair feel healthy and smooth and good so I love these I would repurchase um, I'm actually going to be using their specific color treated shampoo and conditioner but yeah I love these so much and would definitely recommend I actually have a code with them I'll link it down below if you're interested in getting 10% off from them and then of course the conditioner same thing really really liked it just as good as the shampoo this is the briogeo don't despair repair super moisture shampoo i also adore this one this one smells so good too this smells like pez candy this also was very moisturizing to my bleached hair and i would definitely recommend briogeo and i would repurchase this too i don't think i will anytime soon but i really really enjoyed this and yeah, it's just like a very good moisturizing shampoo. I think maybe if you had like thin, oily hair, maybe you wouldn't like this because it is a super moisture shampoo. But if you have like dry, frizzy hair, you might like this because it is moisturizing. It smells really good. I love this brand as well. So yeah, really like this. Would recommend. I won't be repurchasing anytime soon, but I would repurchase if that makes sense Ooh, this is one of my favorite shampoos this is the amica reset exfoliating shampoo this is so nice i finished two of them up and this just has like these little salty exfoliants that you put into your scalp and it feels so good it also smells incredible too <laughs> smells so good this is like a physical exfoliant for your face but for your scalp and i yeah really really like these i would oh oh i guess there was just a little bit left in this one that's annoying but yeah i would 100 percent repurchase these and i would recommend these i think i mentioned before that i like recommended this to my sister and now she really likes it too but this is such a good shampoo and if you've never tried an exfoliating scalp shampoo you should try it it is a game changer for your scalp it just feels so good next up we have some hair masks and hair treatments to talk about this is the amica the cure intense bond repair hair mask i love this i've already repurchased this so i already have a backup of it but this is such a moisturizing incredible hair mask again smells so good but i noticed every time i use this that my hair felt so much more moisturized it felt just like really healthy and shiny and bouncy as well so i definitely recommend this this is one of my absolute favorite hair masks and i will forever repurchase i am actually not sure how this will work on my natural hair if it'll be too oily but yeah i definitely love this and recommend it and have already repurchased it it's such a good moisturizing repairing hair mask especially if you have damaged dry hair this is the it's a 10 miracle leave-in product i really really like this one too this is a really beautiful leave-in hair conditioner i love the way this smells it just reminds me of high school and it makes me feel so nostalgic this is so easy to use and spray into your hair after you get out of the shower i've already repurchased this so i'm currently using what was once my backup definitely recommend definitely would repurchase i think i've mentioned this multiple times but this is like a holy grail hair product for me and it's just so easy to use and keep into my routine and everything like that so yeah love this two other leave-in treatments are the k18 leave-in molecular repair hair mask this is so so good if you have damaged hair i think you would absolutely love this and this makes such a difference in my hair my hair after using this for a couple weeks made my hair feel so healthy and strong and i didn't get nearly as much breakage in my hair when i had my bleach blonde hair and i have a backup of this i definitely recommend it is pretty spendy so it, it really depends on how much you want to spend on something but if you have been wanting to try a new leave-in hair treatment that's for like damaged hair I would definitely recommend this I was using this when I was bleach blonde 
and it really helped strengthen my hair and keep it healthy. So I think if you especially have bleached blonde hair or like really damaged color treated hair, I think you would really benefit from using this. If this is a little too spendy for you, I would try the Living Proof Triple Bond Complex. These are very similar products. This is just cheaper than this one. This one does very similar things to the K18. I would say that I like the K18 like a smidge more, but when you factor in price, maybe I would prefer this one. But this really helps with hair strengthening and just keeping your hair really healthy. And yeah, I love this one so much. Would definitely recommend and already have backups of this one as well. I really have learned how to take care of my hair after having bleach blonde hair for a year and now I have color treated hair. And I think these like leave-in treatments are so necessary for keeping your hair really healthy and like keeping the longevity of your hair as well. So definitely recommend these and um, would 100% repurchase both of these. I think this one is a good one to get in the sale. I also finished the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. This is also a really good dry shampoo. I would definitely recommend this one. It smells amazing. This one's really good at keeping my hair nice and not greasy on my long bouts of not washing my hair. I love the smell of this one as well. It smells so good. So yeah, definitely would recommend and I already have backups of this. There is another one that I really like too um, by Living Proof, but I just haven't finished that one up. But definitely recommend and would repurchase this one. Okay, so that was part two of my empties video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure to leave it in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you. But I hope you're having a good day wherever you are and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!